Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so quick note, these readings are for the general energies, trends and themes that we're likely to experience over the course of the month ahead, uh, the month, the week ahead should I say. With that said, these are always informed by my intuitive message, so every week I'll go into my intuition and I will ask a question and I will say what do we need to know for the week and that sometimes comes through as a thought, an impression, a colour, sometimes it will be like a mini movie that plays out in my head, I just kind of go with it and I take that uh, and usually turn it into a phrase of some sort and this week, uh, what I actually saw for this week was uh, a group of women fighting but it was kind of like a red mist moment and so the message that I have to give you this week is don't lose yourself in it. Whatever you see sort of unfolding, whether this is in your locality, whether it's on the wider world stage, whether it's in the comments section, whatever the case might be, don't get sucked into it this week, right? Just observe, take a moment, take a, a and I have to do this from time to time as well, you know, sometimes I see something online that I feel sort of, you know, triggers me or is so like atrocious to think like somebody has that as an opinion and then I'm like, no. Everybody is allowed their opinion, whether I agree with it or not. This is not, you know, me getting into the fray of it. Who does that help? It doesn't help anybody, right? So uh, this week, don't get sucked into it, right? If you can see the red mist rising, find a way to kind of separate yourself out from that or to be elsewhere. For our uh, destiny card energy, we have from the Human Design Oracle deck, Okay, that card seems to want out, so we're going to go with it. It's the Gate 54 and Ambition. Interesting card, because this is a money card. Uh, it speaks about making money, enhancing your lifescape, utilising your skills, your knowledge, all the resources that you already have to hand uh, to, to make money, right? To charge ahead to make money. And as a direction card, what this suggests is you can use... Whatever this um, red mist is, whatever the current state of uh, is in the world, right? There's always something. Uh, that's how it feels. I don't know about whether anybody else feels that way. Um, but whatever it is that's going on, you can find a way to channel this energy into making money, into creating a revenue stream for yourself, or even just using that energy of anger and challenge and annoyance or whatever the case might be or whatever it is that you're feeling, using that to fuel you, right? To become the energy that you need in order to push on in some way, in order to go in uh, a different direction direction in order to give yourself the um the oomph for the push right in order to kind of get something done to bring more resources or finances into your life or even to use the anger that you have right as a, a fuel source to get you to where you would like to be um it's a very powerful tool that way right when you can channel your anger into kind of making you more productive it can really do wonders, right? All emotions are very powerful. Um, it's just really whether you allow them to feel you or you allow yourself to feel them and to do something with what you feel. So for our uh, destiny card, we had ambition. For our direction cards, we've got the ace of wands. So putting your ideas into practice now is one of the best ways to use this energy. With the eight of wands, especially if you can use this to build your ideas, to share your ideas, to gather information, that might be one of the best ways that you can go about this. Uh, and with the King of Pentacles, <laughs> by really getting to it. King of Pentacles is usually an Earth sign, male, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So this could be somebody that you are talking to, maybe somebody that you're planning to meet up with or connect with. This with the Eight of Wands, it's likely that this King of Pentacles, an Earth sign, male, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, could be a mentor or a guru or a coach or even just a, a supporting uh, sort of influence in some way, especially about ideas that you already have, ideas that you want to sort of get off the ground out into the world in some way. Uh, the support that you need, the communication that you need is all sort of, it's all possible, it's all sort of uh, potentially there for you to tap into as a resource. This might even be a return in some way. So maybe you're reconnecting with this person. It's not that they're a new person in your life. 
Um, the other thing that I want to mention is on the wider world stage here, this is going to be a very busy week when it comes to communications. There's going to be a lot of new things that come to light, new ideas, new processes, new uh, services, potentially even new items. There's going to be a new trend of some sort that everybody's going to be talking about this week, right? Um, and you'll know this because it will have a very practical slant to it. It will be something that we use every day in our lives it will probably be something around either phones communications laptops tvs not so much tvs actually phones uh laptops it will be something that's commonplace that everybody uses every single day that has a really practical element to it but it's something completely new or it's done in a really novel way and if you can find a way to tap into that uh, you could be tapping into a brand new market or a new uh, certainly a boost to the finances through, you know, through utilising the right conversation. Riding the wave of hype, I think, is, is what I'm trying to say here. For our insight cards, what's coming around the corner that we might need to be aware of? We've got the Five of Cups, okay, and we've got the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Five of Wands. So what do we see here? Two fives. Two fives represents a vigil. Um, this may very well be, especially with the Nine of Cups and all of these cards here, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a protest or I don't know if you remember the Occupy movement where they, you know, basically just all went and sat outside and occupied Wall Street. Um, there could be something along these lines that take place at this moment in time this week. Uh, but I do have a feeling that there's some part of me feels like this will be with within or around a religious institution in some regard. I don't know whether this is a church. Maybe it's, you know, potentially even the the V place. I'm not going to say the word because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, or do you know what I mean? Like, I think you know where I'm driving at with that. Um, but it will be interesting to see how this plays out. I also think as well, because it's the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands, this, this is really about the, the loss of connection within a community of some sort. Now, the Nine of Cups is a very positive card, but flanked by these two fives, one of challenge and conflict and one of loss, this is kind of like where maybe a peaceful protest turns violent, and I really hope that's not the case. On a more personal level, this is really going to be about... This week you will have a, an experience where you might be having a really wonderful time and then someone or something happens and it just tries to piss on your fireworks, right? If this is the case, you're going to have to ask yourself how much of this is this person, this thing or whatever, this outside influence ruining this experience for me and how much of it is me, right? And what I mean by this is, yes, okay, external events happen. Sometimes people come in and they want to, you know, they want to fuck with your flow or whatever the case might be. However, how long you stay in the funk that they have started or created, that's the choice, right? So you can be perpetually pissed off or you can say, oh, that really sucked. And then you can get back to being happy, right? Or you can use this as fuel to push yourself forward in some way. Now, because I am a numerology and tarot geek and all of the rest of it, there's some really interesting stuff going on here, right? You've got two fives, you've got the gate 54, right? So uh, you've got, sorry, not the two fives, you've got the nine here, right? So that's nine. You've got the eight of wands and the ace of wands, which is one one, so technically that's nine. Then you've got the nine there. So you've got the nine, the nine, and the nine. Three nines represent success. Ambition is the precursor to success, right? Ambition given flow, ambition given a track, ambition given fuel and desire and all the rest of it becomes success. If you can use the challenges that show up for you this week, if you can use that and channel that into your ambitions and get going with it, you can turn this into a success absolutely, all right? 
don't get sucked into it because this is another actually one of the other things I talk I forgot to talk about with the ambition card. It can be an anger card, right? When we're too quick to anger, when we allow that to kind of ruin everything, or we only see that sort of one side of things. So watch out for that this week, right? As you see the red mist rise in, I'm not saying don't be offended. I'm not saying don't stand up for things that you believe in. What I'm saying is don't let them ruin everything else. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.